let's see if we can determine the convergence of this infinite series n over n squared plus 1. Now, fortunately, we have a lot of tests that are going to help us determine this guy's convergence. So let's take a quick look at those. All right, so we should know all of these very well. If you're unfamiliar with any of these, I would say stop this video and go back and review these right now. But once we're very comfortable with all of these tests, then it's just a matter of deciding which one might be a good idea. Uh, let's run through the list real quick and try to whittle this large list down to a little bit smaller list. Uh, nth term test, I, I don't think uh, it would be the nth term test because these terms go to zero. The nth term test is only helpful if the terms do not go to zero that you're, that you're adding up. Uh, the integral test, that, that's a, a good candidate. Uh, we, might, we might take a look at this one. Uh, the reason the um, integral test is, is possibly a candidate is because if you equated this guy with a, a similar improper integral from one to infinity, of this continuous function x over x squared plus 1 then you can equate the convergence of the improper integral with the convergence of the series and the reason this piqued my interest is because x over x squared plus 1 is integrable it's a log rule so you could actually do this integral and then talk about this guy's convergence so that might be something we'd look at it's clearly not a geometric series, looks nothing like a geometric series. The, uh, the limit comparison test, this is a, a possibility we might look into. Um, the reason being is because if you look at the terms in the sequence, you know, if you call these a sub n, right, a sub n, the terms you're adding up, I think there is a, a simpler version of a sub n that we could compare this guy to. Uh, for example, if we drop the plus 1, which is negligible, that's not going to really affect the convergence, you would get roughly n over n squared, which re would reduce to 1 over n. And so if you looked at the series 1 over n, we could compare this guy's convergence with this guy's convergence. That would be something good to do. Uh, direct comparison test. Um, if I can get the limit comparison test to work, I, you know, the direct comparison test is probably my least favorite of all the tests because you have to be so careful with the inequalities and bounding it below or bounding it above. Sometimes we have to use the direct comparison test, but if I don't have to, I'm not, I'm not going to. Uh, the ratio test. Um, this is a, a good universal test that works in most situations. Uh, I think it would work here. You could try it. Um, the root test, I, I don't see that being a good candidate. I don't see any powers of n. And p-series test is obviously no. There's nothing in here that looks remotely like a p-series. So I've got three possible routes maybe that we could go. Um, you could try one, or if it doesn't work out, try another one. But I think any of these three would be worth pursuing, at least for a little bit. Uh, so we get, we can just kind of pick one. Um, I think I'll just pick the limit comparison test. That just seems the most direct. But if you wanted to do the integral test, I would encourage you to maybe do that at, at your desk and try the integral test yourself. But I, I think we'll do the, the limit comparison test. All right, so let's, let's give that a shot. So here's how it works. If the terms you're adding up are considered to be a sub n, then we need to find somebody that's a simpler uh, stripped down version of a sub n. And I think we already saw who that was going to be. I think it was going to be 1 over n. All right, now you recall what the limit comparison test said. It said if you take a limit as n goes to infinity, of uh, a ratio, right, a ratio of a sub n over b sub n, a sub n over b sub n, then this guy will reveal a little bit about the convergence of this big infinite series. So I'll tell you what, let, let's, let's do this. Let's take the a sub n and b sub n out. We'll put n over n squared plus 1 uh, divided by 1 over n. So let's, let's take this limit here and let's see what this limit leads us to. Okay, um, I think it would be more easily done if we took the reciprocal of the denominator, rewrote it a little bit. Limit as n approaches infinity of uh, n divided by n squared plus 1 
times n over 1 as opposed to divided by 1 over n. We took the reciprocal. Uh, this would lead us to the limit as n approaches infinity for n squared divided by n squared plus 1. Uh, I see right off the bat this is going to be a L'Hopital rule problem because you get infinity over infinity for this limit. So after one use of L'Hopital's rule, you get 2n over 2n, which would reduce to 2 over 2, or which would be 1. Now this is great news because if you remember the results from the limit comparison test, it said that if this number was finite, so let's, let's jot that down, it is finite uh, and positive, right? Positive, which uh, which it is positive, then that means that um, both series either converge together or diverge together. And so now it's not immediately saying if this series converged or diverged. For this, we actually have to look back at the compared series. So let's look at the sum n equals 1 to infinity and ask ourselves uh, if we're adding 1 over n does this converge or diverge well clearly this is going to diverge by uh, p series this is a very simple test this diverges by the p series and so since these guys are handcuffed together by the uh, limit comparison test these guys either converge together as a pair or diverge together as a pair, um, but they're growing roughly at the same rate. That's what this limit was uh, comparing, was the rates of growth of A sub n to B sub n. So we can also say, here's our final answer, this series diverges, diverges by the limit comparison test because we compared it to this series which diverged right and so the the key to this whole problem was this ratio the limit of this ratio being a finite positive number um, in this case one but it was greater than zero but less than infinity so anyways that's how we use the limit comparison test